Hello, in this session, I am going to explain you Power BI custom scroll visual and how you can add this scroll visual in your Power BI report. So on your screen, you can see I have added two scroll, which showing first scroll is showing the country and the order quantity or the sales quantity or an average. In the next scroll, you can see there is a business segment, the accessories by the total quantity sold and the average of total quantity. So let me show you the database so you will understand much better. So this is the country I, I use. I use this, this country column in first scroll and the second one I use the business segment and the quantity, the sum of the quantity and average of quantity country wise and the business segment segment wise. So here you can see the how cool this report is looking. So now I'm going to show you how you can do this. So let me go to the second page. And before this is the custom visual, so it will not come with the default visual of the Power BI. So you have to go and get the visual from the store. So you just click to get the visual. So it is taking time. Here you go in search and type scroll and press enter. So here you can see that this scroll, the scroll visual. So you you add from here you can add from here or from here directly also so i'm not going to add because i have already added so let me close this once you will add it it look like this scroll so let me double click on this so here you can see the scroll is at first scroll is added so let me decrease the size i have already loaded my data set so first i'll put the in the category country the order quantity in absolute major and it is already sum and the second one again i will say the order quantity but here what i'm going to do i'll say the average of the quantity okay so you will see here the united state quantity sold and the average of the quantity so by default the background is black so if you want to change you can change from here i'll quickly i'll show you so here there will be the background let me select some other background like uh, some dark color so it's not this color is not good so let me select this one so it looks cool and you can change the color of this also so indicator so here status text coloring you say all so this change the whole text so let me revert back here the status indicator coloring so will be white so it keep scrolling and here there will be the found size and the scroll speed if you want to like you know this is the 1.2 and if you want to delay more scroll will be delay so you can keep increase 2.2 or something like that so let me do it 2.2 so it is very fast and if i say one it's a bit slow so 1.1 so it's a bit slow and if you want very fast you put it three or something so very fast okay so let me put 1.2 1.2 is best so here you if you want to see that if you can hold this scroll also if you put your mouse cursor here it will hold so whenever you want to hold the scroll you can put your mouse here it will hold so i'll add one more same visual 
So here I will put the business segment and order quantity and I'll say it is sum. Okay, now this is the business segment. Let me do the resizing and let me change the font, this background color. So scroll, you have to go here in the background and select some, this color. Okay, so the bike, the total cell, if you want average, you can put it here. The cells quantity, let me put it. And say the average by default it is some average so average will be appear so by clothing it looks very cool to your report if you have some uh, sometime what happened there we need a, the customer need a, so many uh, information on one first introduction page or something so this kind of this kind of the things will save a lot of space so for today is this much for you so thank you for watching if you like please like and subscribe the video subscribe the channel for the this cool kind of uh, stuff thank you very much for watching